Hey everybody, uh, thanks again for joining me this week. This is our third video uh, in our short series, kind of showing how we can enhance the DJI L1 data within our LP360 software. Um, I wanted to revisit a little bit yes from yesterday after I was able to analyze the point cloud a little bit more uh, after running the strip line tool. Uh, what you see here is the original uh, LAS from Terra. Uh, looks like a railroad, right? Um, but what it does is it doesn't actually tell you the whole story. Um, after we've upgraded uh, the last from 1.2 to 1.4 and assigned a point source ID, uh, we can start to see the data a little bit more. So right now it looks like a, a fuzzy representation of, of a railroad. If we switch over to our new and improved last where we've assigned each strip a point source ID, we can start to see, hey, those two strips are sitting on top of each other and it's increasing the size of my, uh, my railroad. Uh, so what we do after we run the strip line tool, we can actually start to see a little bit more um, of how this data starts to fit together um, and actually give you a more accurate representation of, of the actual uh, railroad here. Uh, so we'll switch over to that aligned layer and we can see, hey, there's a little bit better looking point cloud up there. It's still a little fuzzy. If we zoom in, you know, we can see we're roughly, you know, 10, 12 centimeters of noise are, uh, in this area. Uh, so that's what we're going to work on today. Is in this shorter video in the last couple is running through our um, denoising or smoothing tool uh, right here with an LP360 drone. Uh, so what we're going to do, I've actually, to save a little time, I've actually let it run. I'll show you how long that process took. Uh, but we would actually navigate to our point cloud task and open up our list of tasks that we can run. In this case, we have our smoothing task. Um, <clears throat> once we get everything set like we want uh, within our smoothing task, uh, we can actually run it uh, via a polygon. So if I wanted to select a certain area uh, and run uh, a polygon selected, just a smoothing tool over that certain area I can. In this case, I want to let it run for the whole project. I would click this tool and let it run. Uh, when it would be complete, you'll see here, I'll show you how long it took for this particular point cloud. Right over, right, right over four minutes and 30, 30 seconds or so. So almost five minutes to smooth this entire data set. Uh, once it's done, it'll actually create a new layer. We can navigate over to our, our, our table of contents and we can start to see uh, what that new point cloud looks like. And I've named it Align Smooth because it's been strip aligned and it's also been smooth, brought down the noise of this data set. So you start to see uh, a much better representation uh, of the site. You can see the rail, obviously rails are only about two and a half uh, inches wide. Uh, so you, you start to see a little bit better representation of the rail. You still don't have a ton of detail from the L1 in this area um, because of the nature of the sensor itself. But you can see uh, my ground uh, looks much better, not, not nearly as, as, as noisy as it was from here or even the original point cloud uh, from DJI uh, Terra. We can go analyze a couple different areas um, of this data set. Um, I'll actually click out of this and we'll go cut a new uh, cross section in an area that we're familiar with um, over here. So this is where we've, uh, we analyzed earlier in, in, in the workflow make my profile a little bit narrower so we can see um, like I can even turn on you know when I turn on my, my profile the, the <clears throat> that runs across you can see they kind of fit right on top of each other much less noise you know we're looking at only a couple centimeters of noise for this and entire uh, point cloud here if you remember this again this is what it will look like from beginning from Terra uh, after we assigned uh, a point source ID to each one, we can start to see a little bit of misalignment. We aligned that data set. And you can see here where the, the two strips sit on top of each other. And finally, we have a smooth data set. Uh, another good way that you can kind of actually see uh, how it's different. You can see this this tin here, how it's really uh, jagged from uh, from how uh, the tin has uh, uh, created the surface across that, that point cloud. If I switch it to um, my new and aligned smooth, you can see uh, that now it's a much smoother representation of the ground, uh, not nearly as noisy, giving you uh, better quality data that you can start to build your contours. Classify is going to help with the extraction of the ground extraction uh, when you do uh, de-bias or smooth this data uh, and overall give you better quality um, from the DJI L1. So we'll, we'll, we'll show you this one more time before we'll hop off. So this is the Align Smooth, so Strip Align and Smooth. This is the Non Smooth. And then now we have oops, the original Terra Lass, straight out of Terra. 
So I hope that was informative. I really appreciate everybody spending some time and giving me some great feedback over the last couple of days. Uh, I look forward to continuing this uh, and showing you some other great tools uh, and how you can really enhance uh, the data from the DJI L1. Uh, thanks, everybody. Um, have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.